Brandon here with IFAST University. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that we get to with all of our clients usually really early when they walk through the door. Uh, and it's going to be breathing and bracing, right? So we're going to go through some anatomy, a little bit of biomechanics real quickly today. And then we're going to jump into some examples of how we get people in the position we want for when they're able to breathe and brace properly. And then some exercises that we would actually use this in. Right, so now we're going to start applying this bracing to some exercises and there's really two big exercises that we get concerned about with somebody bracing. First one is a squat that Jay's going to demonstrate for us here in just a second. And the second one is deadlifting, right? So Jay's going to go ahead and grab the bar. <clears throat> He's going to walk it out. And if this is Jay's first time grabbing the bar, I may actually do the same thing we just did. Put my hands on his waist. Jay gets a long breath out. I can feel his abs come on. He takes a breath in. I feel that 3D expansion, so I know he's got a good stabilized spine with some air pressure. He's going to squat. It looks beautiful. All right, so we don't see his back moving at all. It stays nice in that stabilized position that he started in once he took that breath in. And there's also two common mistakes that we see. Right? So Jay's going to show us both of them. So Jay, go ahead and let's show him the extension pattern. So if you guys are watching Jay, he gets to the bottom and it looks all right on the way down. And then on the way up, he kind of leads with his head and we start to see his back arch a little more on the way up, right? Which tells us he's not holding his brace and he's starting to lose his abs a little bit. And the second common mistake we'll see is it looks good on the way down and his hips actually shoot up to start and he actually gets a little kyphotic and then his shoulders kind of whip at the end to finish the squat. And one more. Beautiful, thank you, Jay. All right, so if you're seeing either of those mistakes in your clients, uh, it's a little bit too hard. You may need to regress the exercise or you just may, able, may have to slow it down for them so they're able to feel that bracing the whole time and feel the mistake that they're making. Thanks for checking out this month's video on breathing and bracing. Hopefully it helps you guys understand why we get our clients in these specific positions with their ribs down and their hips underneath them before they take a breath in while they're able to hold on to some abs to stabilize their spine correctly under a load when they grab a barbell or throw a barbell on their back. Right, if you guys have other tips or tricks that you use in your gyms that you found successful with your clients, please share them on the iFastU Facebook page so we all can learn a little bit more and keep getting better.